it's not a spring chick. And today we're going to be talking about factions and kitchen myths, which number one is, oh yes, is rare. <laughs> is rare hamburger bad for you? Now a lot of you might think, oh, you can't eat rare meat. In fact, some of the restaurants will no longer cook you a rare hamburger or rare meat, which is really kind of disappointing because I do like them that way. But there's different methods of being rare. One is screaming rare, where it's kind of bloody all over. <laughs> well, you know, that's the one. And some of them are just gently pink with not juices all over the place, or like, but it's a medium rare. But for most people, a lot of people think that if a hamburger is raw, it's bad, okay? And then a lot of you think, well, yeah, it's bad for you. Well, think about sushi. Isn't that raw fish? Sashimi? Yeah. It, 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 the word goes with all factions, fact or fiction. It depends. Oh, it does depend because it depends on the quality of the meat that you bought. <coughs> I know here in California, they have these ratings for the restaurants depending on how clean the kitchen is and how well sanitary they follow the different things. It's a rating like A, B, C. Basically, you want to go into places with an A. If they have a C, you don't want to go there at all. Mm. So on this, it really does depend. Because see, here's part of it is, the commercial ground beef that's made in factories is often made from meat from dozens or hundreds of individual animals. So there could be a chance of bacterial contamination, but if you go to a place that you know takes care of meat, in other words, if you go to a gourmet place, if it's you really have, expensive. If you have the meat ground yourself, but like, okay. oh. we're going to the, because this is from my side, of the, the, she is from the grocery side where she's got meat and I'm from the restaurant side. My mother, meat for my mother's main, her, she, she was basically, a, she ran, the company ran two different types of restaurants. One was, was gourmet restaurants and the other was a chain restaurant. The gourmet restaurants only served ground meat made from the, from portions themselves. They were grinded on the spot. Oh, which means you buy the meat there and then have them grind it. Yeah. Right. Well, then it's all from that one instead of from a bunch of different And ones. they would not cook oh. it as to the temperature as you would, you know, uh, the hamburgers in a McDonald's is not cooked at the same temperature as you would from a piece of ground meat ground right on the spot. Now that makes me think, when you, you go to some of these hamburger restaurants and they're much more expensive, I wonder if they do something like that. Because if you buy, like a set of beef and you're making your own hamburger meat right there, you're also paying for a more expensive grade of meat, and right? Anybody, all anybody had Kobe? Kobe beef. Kobe beef. We've had Kobe beef burgers and they're not, they're, they're not, they're basically, there's an awful lot of red in the Kobe beef, but nobody cares. They're really good. But it's not like the hamburgers you're going to find, you know, like on sale at the store, the big like four pound things, right, where you're getting the hamburger meat at a, a dollar, a dollar and a half, two dollars. No. You're yeah. looking at paying, what, six, seven, eight dollars a pound? Yeah. And like they also say, I think it, it, it depends upon the type. Uh, okay, for instance, a <coughs> soy burger. Mm. A soy burger is not, a, is not meat. How about a turkey burger? Is all made from they don't they don't put in a zillion different types they put in one you know one type of turkey meat into it and <coughs> so it is the cut <coughs> I know but, but it's the cut the beet cut of meat you're using or the pro byproduct you're using to make it so that so it like I said it, the the problem with factions is there's always a little bit of truth in every thing that's not true. And there's and always a little bit of lie in everything that is true. Well, part of it, it's a whole lot easier to say, don't eat red meat. That's what you should always as, say. As an overall category. Don't eat rare meat. It's easy to say overall. Instead of saying, you can have rare meat if you, you know, ground the beef yourself and did all, you know what I mean? If you're talking yep. about rare the meat. So, you know, in one sense, you know, it always depends. So, you know, it, Fact or fiction about don't eat rare hamburger meat? It depends. 